Monika. And I'm Taylor. And we're the Natural Girls. And today we thought we'd show you our healthy banana bread recipe. Yes. So it's pretty easy to make and super healthy. So what we've got is four ripened bananas. Uh, we've got four free ranged eggs. Uh, I'm going to use a tablespoon of honey, half a cup of coconut oil. I've got one and a half cups of plain flour that's gluten free as well. Half a cup of crushed walnuts. One teaspoon of organic vanilla extract. Uh, we've got one teaspoon of cinnamon powder that's presented by Taylor. And in there I've also put one teaspoon of baking powder just to help it to rise. Sounds delicious. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with um, mashing up the bananas first. So okay. get your arm muscles nice and ready. So bananas are a great source of potassium. Um, they're also a good source of fiber. Mm -hmm. uh, they're great pre and post workout yes. uh, because with the potassium, it helps with any kind of muscle spasming or cramping. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, B group. And they taste good. Yeah, they taste good. A good source of B group vitamins. Uh, so that means it's good for the nervous system. It's good for energy. It's good for brain function. Yeah. Um, which good. the more we talk about the ingredients, I think we'll see. This is just a great study snack. So <laughs> I love banana bread. So if you like our inner nice cup of tea, yeah, go for it. So give those arm muscles a good workout. <laughs> and it's, it's funny whenever you mash bananas, like the fork always just gets like more bent. Yeah. <laughs> And this is another reason you used um, real ripe bananas, otherwise you're probably going to be there for an hour. Even the ones with like little brown spots on them, you're like, oh, I might not eat that, you should make some banana bread. <laughs> they also have more flavour as well as ripe ones. So. And also they have more uh, natural sugars in them at mm -hmm. that point, like good sugars. And healing benefits as well. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the starchier they are, the harder it is to digest as well. Yeah, that's true. So now that we have the mashed banana, we're going to beat in the free-ranged eggs. So we've got four. So eggs are a great source of protein. There we go, that's egg. And start beating that through with the bananas. Uh, they, are, they are also a good source of choline. So choline's really good for neurodevelopment. See, brain food. Yeah, brain food, <laughs> absolutely. Good for studying. Uh, and also they contain uh, beta carotene, especially in the yolk, the yellow part. And that converts to vitamin A in the body if your body needs it. And it doesn't convert if your body doesn't need it. Um, and vitamin A is great for the immune system. What we're going to put in next is a teaspoon of vanilla essence extract. So this is organic as well. So try to use organic ingredients where possible. Uh, then we're going to put in the honey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> or Taylor. Yeah, my eyes have burn in a bit. So what do we do? So we're going to do a tablespoon of the honey. This one? Yeah. Yeah, you can use that I'm like, this is like so that. easy. What are you complaining about, Taylor? Like that? <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, a nice, generous tablespoon of honey. And just beat that through. So honey is um, a nice natural sweetener, and it's also antimicrobial as well. Next is the coconut oil. Yes, and as you may have well figured by now, we are loco for cocoa. Absolutely. And, um, yeah. and, um, so coconut oil, like you may have heard in last bit in other videos, uh, it has medium chain triglycerides, and so basically what that means is it's fat that helps us burn fat. Mm -hmm. um, it's also really good for the brain because it's a healthy fat. So again, like like I said, it's a brain food snack. And this is why we love yeah. coconut oil. Um, and the other reason to use coconut oil in baking specifically is because it has a high smoke point as opposed to other oils that go rancid at high temperatures. Coconut oil uh, won't go rancid at high temperatures, so it's good to cook mm -hmm. and bake with as opposed to something like olive oil that would. And we have lined the pan with coconut oil because of that reason as well. So we're going to, um, I'm just going to start putting in the plain flour, which is a one and a half cups of uh, gluten-free plain flour. So just put that in slowly to allow the mixture to blend in. So just keep putting the mixture through. Oops. <laughs> Making a nice mess. But you know what? I think whenever you bake, you have to have flour everywhere. Well, you have yeah. flour in your hair, That's all it. over the bed. It's not real. It, you have no proof that you're nah. baking. <laughs> baking <laughs> is not clean. Baking is messy. It needs to be all over the walls. Oops. <laughs> okay, so we put all the flour in, and now I'm going to put in a teaspoon of the cinnamon powder and the one teaspoon of the baking powder. And that just helps it to rise the baking powder. And the cinnamon's a nice community, so it helps with any digestion upsets. Also balances blood sugar, which is really nice. And it gives it the nice flavour too. I love cinnamon. I love it. And last but not least, <laughs> 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 
now. He's like, all of his life, he's made a banana bread. He's like, hello. I always have some banana bread. So this is just one cup of crushed walnuts. And again, walnuts, healthy fat, a good source of omega is good for the brain. Yeah, and then we're just going to pour it into our banana bread. I've been working too hard. Yeah, I've been working too hard. I appreciate it. But it looks delicious. Just pouring that through. Just spreading it out evenly. And what did we preheat the heat the oven to? Um, so just to moderate heat, so 180 degrees Celsius. Don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll Google it and then I'll put it in the description below. The American. Or actually, I'll let it flash right here. <laughs> it's this in Fahrenheit. <laughs> <laughs> and just let it cook for about 45 to 50 minutes. You just want to check on it fairly regularly, especially at the half an hour mark. Uh, and just spike it just to make sure that it's cooked on the inside. Yeah. Um, but yeah, moderate heat for about 45 to 55 minutes. Voila! We'll see you in about 45 50 minutes. See ya! Bye. Okay, so it's been about 50 minutes. I'm gonna grab the banana bread out. Ooh, it smells so good in here. It smells amazing. So we've just spiked it to make sure that it's cooked inside. And there you go. Voila! Voila. <laughs> Um, we've just put the walnuts. Oh yeah, about, um, what do you say, five, ten minutes before uh, we took it out of the oven. Yeah. Or actually it was more of like 15 minutes Probably before. About 15, yeah, yeah, 15 minutes before we took it out of the oven. We sprinkled some walnuts on top just to give it another yeah. texture to it. Mm -hmm. um, add a bit of crunch. And then we are going to enjoy this with our cups of tea. <laughs> yeah. Um, and with peanut butter or um, just butter. Yeah, yeah, um, or just by itself. Or by itself. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, with uh, tea, and we're gonna get our brains going. Yeah, <laughs> brain food. But I'm super excited to try it. And out. the dogs are super excited to try it as well. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. I hope you like the healthy banana bread recipe and that you have a happy, healthy day. We'll catch you next time. Get those bicep muscles going. We're only getting one strong bicep, though. <laughs> you know what to do.